Good morning, everybody. Normally, I don't make many videos, but I um, wanted to share this with you because I was extremely frustrated and I had a situation yesterday. Some of you may laugh at this. Some of you may be understanding. So, I got a 2006 8th generation Honda Civic. I wanted to upgrade my radio. This radio right here. Looks pretty nice. Bought on eBay. Checked everything. Made sure it was a good fit. I had to buy this whole bezel to adapt this radio because kind of like the old Ford Tauruses, everything's integrated. So I bought the bezel. It's correct color match, matches the rest of that pretty much. Put the radio in. We bought a exact fit adapter that uh, plugged into the factory wiring harness, also into the factory antenna adapter. So there was it was pretty much a no-brainer. No wiring involved, just plug and play. Plugged it in, seemed like it was working okay from the start, and then over time it started having defects. Uh, there's a little micro SD card for memory here that, was, that wasn't working. Um, over time the AM radio stations, because I do listen to AM radio, started blurring together like something was wrong. Um, also too, there was several other issues that I just wasn't really happy about it. Tried contacting the supplier from eBay and they kept just saying no, we're only going to give you a partial refund. Well, yesterday while driving home, wasn't even using the radio because after about 30 seconds of radio usage, the radio just stops working. So it is completely defective. Uh, while I was driving down the highway, this thing decided to start smoking as if it was about to catch on fire. So, um, I hurried up, pulled over, ripped this whole thing apart, go into the back of this radio, and unplugged it in fear that the car, the radio was about to catch on fire. So, after I figured that all out, of course, all of this was disabled. I had no climate controls, I had no um, airbag monitor for the passenger seat, I had no flashers anymore. I went to a local gas station and was able to, um, you know, plug everything back in except for the radio, of course. And so I could still have air conditioning because that was terribly hot yesterday. Um, after all that happened, I noticed that several things weren't working anymore. One of them, which is kind of nice in the Hondas, is after you've already shut the car off, you still have power to your window. Just for about five, ten minutes or so. Um, that wasn't working anymore. Also, the annoying thing that... People, a lot of people hate when you go to open your door and your key still in the ignition has that annoying little beep noise that wasn't working anymore which was very disconcerting um, also too this little lovely feature of remote unlock and lock which you can hear it just works that was no longer working so I'm like what in the world happened uh, looking through all kinds of discussion groups and forums on the internet finally led me to the conclusion that this was my problem rather than taking it to the dealership which i know i work at a car dealership this is a simple fix so in case any of you ever have this problem this here is underneath the hood obviously it's the fuse box it's one of them there's another one underneath the dashboard inside the car but you take off this fuse box cover and right here is a 10 amp fuse and if you look at the back of your cover it tells you that that little 10 amp fuse where is it here it says right here number slot number 23 10 amp it says backup which a lot of people would think that means backup lights but I don't think that's what it controls and if it does that's not all it controls in fact I know it's not what it, it's not what it controls because my backup lights are still working so I replaced that fuse, little mini fuse, and everything started working again. Thankfully, there was no extensive damage. So I wanted to tell everybody out there in the internet world that that's what could happen. So um, just be very careful with who you buy your aftermarket uh, audio and video equipment from because even though it says it passed a quality control test, obviously there was something definitely wrong. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go. Have a good day.